glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Boise State's been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Oregon is Reeser Stadium, the battlefield for this game. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Thomas Ewing has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Heading for the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others, they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Next strike to the receiver. Tackle the 49-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Try running left. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 24. That was a good looking play, and it sort of caught the defense off guard. First and 10. Ball on the 24 yard line. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That'll make it second and seven. Play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. And he's taken down right around the six yard line. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you got a big time advantage over any defense. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Here we go. Play, Play action. Throws it and is caught for the touchdown. saw something upstairs it led to a touchdown you can thank the play calling there very impressive and he adds the extra point a quick update now here's Reese 
Off we go to San Antonio. The Bobcats deliver the perfect connection and a touchdown. The Bobcats have the lead, 7-0. Elsewhere, let's take you out for a little look at what's going on in the map. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. The Huskies win it, 27-24. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Anderson ready to kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Tackle at the 32-yard line. The Broncos offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Boise State's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie, and you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. 20, 25, they hook up over the middle. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. Goes incomplete, intended for his wideouts. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 22. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Hang on, he's, here. Ready. Watch he's got an opening. He's taken down at the 14-yard line. That makes it second and two. about the five-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. First down. First and goal here inside the five-yard line. And he's tackled at about the three-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Toss. Touchdown, Boise State. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. We'll be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 68-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. We get a tie game at 7-7. Boise State ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Drop down at the 25. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And he shoved out of bounds at the 30. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30. Here we go. Wide 80. Wide. 80. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately.
down at the 38. First and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. Around the 41 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Watch 14, watch 14. Watch 13, watch 13. Ready, red, 68, red, 68. Caught with room to work. Inside the 30. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. Big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Over the middle to his tailback. Brought down at the 18. That'll make it second and four. And this is the eighth play of the drive. rid of this one the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass i think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush and that time it paid off with an incompletion so it's third down now and they're going to need about four 13, Mike 13. ready green 19 green 19 <laughs> setting up the play action Throws incomplete broken up great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass that's not an easy play to make Oregon State could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. Anderson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He steps out right around the 34. Second down and seven. Ball on the 34-yard line. Throws in the middle. And he tackles him hard at the 49. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Quick shot with the tailback and through his hands. Completely stopped immediately. Pitts with the tackle. At the line. Line. Let's go. That'll, That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They 
takes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. They go to the left for a nice game. Call a game of four yards. That makes it first and ten. From the 36-yard line, first down. play of the series they come out in a five wide set oh and he had some steam on that throw tackle around the 21 yard line We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 21. Let's go! Let's go. Nice run up the middle. Oliver picks up five with the carry. The Broncos taking their first time out of the half. And this is the tenth play of the drive. play and now they're in a great position to score he made a really good move at the line of scrimmage sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play first and goal from the five they're knocking on the door touchdown broncos converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And he is drilled the 42-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 42. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. Oregon State's going to use their first time out of the half here. three yards to get the first down here on third down gains his way to the 40 yard line
catch there before he stepped out of bounds. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. From the 27-yard line, first down. Quick pass, and he's taken down at about the 21. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. They're about four yards away here on third down. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. It's the ninth play of the drive. He won't get back to the line. Loss of two by the halfback. He's knocked out of bounds just outside the goal line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he adds the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Tigers arrived today ranked number seven. Their steady climb in the polls, they hope, will continue today. The Tigers keep pounding away on the ground, and they find Cater. If you like scoring, here's your game. Lots of points on the board, and we're all tied up. In other games, let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. High-powered offenses everywhere. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for UTSA, they're trying to win their first game of the season. Texas San Antonio leads it 21-14. Separated by a field goal here, Reese, 17-14 in our game. Anderson ready to kick. Parker from the six. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Going deep, lays it out there. Great catch there before they can knock him out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. Got his receiver, touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. He makes the PAT. The return team looks ready to go. They need to take this one all the way in order to lead at the half. Young takes it at the eight. He's out to the 30. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. We've played a half. Boise State leads it 21-17.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. If you love or at least just appreciate great offensive line play, we're seeing it in this game. The pass rush has been completely negated, and I know that you guys on defense talk not so much all the time about sacks, but affecting the yep. quarterback. How big a deal is that? And you got to find ways to make him feel uncomfortable, and you'd like to be able to do it with four people and not blitz and put your secondary at risk. But sometimes when you're not getting home, sometimes you got to bring a fifth guy, and you got to bring a guy maybe with a cornerback or a nickelback with more speed off of the edge. Right now, what they're doing is not working. They got to change it up, maybe run some line games up front where people cross and stunt but you have to affect the quarterback if you don't want him to pick you apart. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Boy, I hope the second half is as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. From the five-yard line. Tackle at the 26. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. We're about set to start things up again. Boise State is up by four. He's tackling around the 39-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 39. And he's tackled at about the 49. He was covered and still caught the ball. Yeah, this guy's got the balance, control, and just great instincts when it comes to catching the football. Good-looking athlete. Makes it to the 41. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gets it to his tight end for a first down. He's taken down at the 35. That makes it first and ten. Fires right. Got him again. And down he goes at the nine. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. football player but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game Boy, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense this wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off he'll return it from the one Tackle made at the 23-yard line. Boise State's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Ready. Ah, 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 ah. 
He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Quick throw onto the receiver, incomplete. Sanchez, Sanchez intended receiver on the play. play. That, that makes, makes it fourth and eight. eight. Certainly they don't have the return on here. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Second and eight. Ball on the 46-yard line. Catches it, and that's all. Six-yard pickup. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. That makes it third and three. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. That's a good one on the play. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Sanders with the toss. Brought down at the 11. third down. They need eight yards here to get the ball in the end zone. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Tigers came into the game ranked seventh. They're now bungee jumping, and the cord's going to break. And for LSU, they've dropped two straight. And for Williams, a good day. More than 200 yards passing. Kent State grabs the victory by a field goal. You can feel the shock waves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 23. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And they get nice yardage on that run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Six. So at the end of the third quarter, 
Boise State leads it 31 17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Sweep left. That's a great tackle at the 46. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese UT San Antonio in action in San Antonio. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for UTSA, they're now faced with the possibility of seeing their losing streak reach double figures at 10 straight. Texas State on top, 31-24. Touchdown difference here, Reese, 31-24. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Across the 30. They'll bring him down at the 34. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Boise State is up a score. And he goes down quickly. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 38. Gets to about the 41-yard line. his way to about the 45 and a big run on third down anytime you can move the ball like this you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense we've got a first and 10 ball on the 45 pressure they bring the quarterback down man these guys can be aggressive if you stand back there and take hits like that you definitely are going to feel it the next day Oregon State's going to use their first time out of the half here from their own 49 yard line Second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Fires it out. 
and he's hit immediately. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. made around the 31 yard line Jones picks up about seven on the play and the completion is also good for a first down and still this gunslinger hasn't missed a receiver yet on this drive so an empty backfield with five wide receivers first down grab by the receiver it's complete what a play knocked out of bounds and it's going to be first and goal that makes it first and goal And this play is number eight on the drive. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Lock in, lock in. Touchdown, Broncos. The Broncos sideline just erupting over there as their quarterback got to the end zone. What a run. What a big moment in this game. The quarterback takes it into the end zone for a potential game-winning touchdown. They have good reason to be celebrating on those sidelines. And he converts the extra point. Ewing has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From the seven. He makes it to the 28-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Got a man. Watch out here. Very good tackle in space. And he stops the clock with a spike. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 39. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle around the 47 yard line. Seven yard line. Second down. He's out of bounds at the 43 yard line. between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Under a minute left. Spikes the ball. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. Check. 200 check. 200 check. 
Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Ready! Just an unbelievable stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. It was the umpire that threw the flag, and generally, that's a holding penalty. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Boise State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.